Good afternoon, dear children. How are you all? I hope you all are excellent and safe at home. Today we will start a new lesson from our grammar book that is noun, noun, nouns, noun. Okay, so what is the definition of noun? Noun, that is the definition. Noun, noun is a naming word, name of a place, animal, thing. Noun. Okay, in that singular noun and a plural noun. So, what is the definition of singular noun? Singular noun, a, a, a noun is said to be a singular if it refers to one person or thing. When that noun, singular noun, when that person, thing or animal is refers to one, only one, that is called a singular noun. See that is a, for example book, pen, pencil. When we are denoting one, that is called a, when we are referring one, that is called a singular noun. An exact opposite of singular noun is a plural noun. What is the definition of the plural noun? A noun is said to be a plural if it refers to more than one thing, one person, and that is singular. A noun is said to be a plural if it refers to more than one person for all thing. That is now see here we said book, only one book. But if that more than one book is there, that is a we say that uh, books. Okay, we are adding s there for singular. See only book is there, b and pen is there. But when we are performing that plural, when we are denoting it. That is, we are adding S over here. That is called a plural noun. Now, here in this lesson, we are learning what we are learning, that only we are learning rules and examples of forming plural, uh, forming plurals. When we will give you singular noun, that you have to form, that you have to change in plural noun. So, few rules are there. Changes are there when you do from singular to plural. That only we are going to be seeing in this lesson. So the rule number one is very general. That is the most uh, uh, famous. The plural of most noun, most generally most nouns, we are adding only s there. See the plural of most noun is formed by adding s. S to singular noun. Okay, s to the singular. S to singular noun. Now see here we have seen P, E and pen. One singular pen. If you want to say more than pens, I have you know more pens. Five pens are there with me. So that pens, we are referring plurals. So we are adding S. Most of the nouns, see this is B, W, O, K, S, books. P, R, A, R, L, S. One train. Trains are coming. Train is coming. Okay. So adding S for that. So most of the noun we are uh, adding S to the noun that is rule number one. What is the rule number two over here? Rule number two is for nouns, for nouns ending in the letters S, 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 H, C, H and X and E, S. Okay. That we have to uh, See, when the noun, when the noun ends in S, 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 H, C, H and X, add E, S, add E, S. Dada Hans, udhar jau aapne udhar kasi gaar. Dikha hai ki udhar kasi gaar. No pura di, kabhi pura ki hai. No pura. Ye kai 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 kai. No pura. Rule number two is, for nouns ending in the letters S, 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 H, H and X and when you are forming plural and their ES. That is very important. When this noun is ending with this, okay, ending with these letters, you have to add ES there. Okay, for example, just see B R U S H brush ending with S H. So we have added there when you are forming. Now, ending with S is there. B U S bus. 
B U S E S. You are ending with S, so E S. Here, dear children, you need only you know practice. If you get practice of this, then it is automatically you will come to know all the rules when you are forming from singular to plural form. Okay, now go to. Again, we will see the the many other you know brush benches there. B E N C H benches there. So you can write there benches. You can write over there bushes there. B U S H bushes there. So bushes are there. Okay, and S S P R R N C E S S princess. You know princess. Uh, queen's daughter is princess, and the son is prince. So in that case, double S is there. Still princess. P R I N C E S ending with S. So we are again ending uh, writing E S or double S. If we are ending with double S also, we are adding there E S. Okay. Now the rule number three. If a singular noun ends with Y, singular noun ends with Y. That last letter is Y. Before Y is a vowel. Vowels are there in our English. Vowels are very important. A, E, I, O, U are the vowels. Five vowels are there. A, E, I, O, U. These are the vowels. So if the singular noun ends with Y and the letter before Y ending with Y and before the Y, if vowel is there, if vowel is there, add S there. Consonant is there. Okay, then can we see here? See B A B 
Pay attention. B A B Y. Ending with one. F A R Y. Ending with one. Where is that again? L O R R Y. Ending with one. F A M R L Y. Ending with one. Before that, consonant is there. Vowel is not there. Consonant is there. Which is that consonant? Can you see? B B is a consonant. B is a consonant. Okay. Here R is a consonant. Here L is a consonant. Before Y, L is there. Before Y, R is there. Means consonants are there. In this case, you have to drop this Y. You have to drop this Y. Y to cut karna hai. There you have to write R E S. Y to cut karo. R E S nahi karne ko. So see here. B A B Y B B singular. What is the plural? Y to cut kar do. R E S Yeah, it is there. T 
double e t h t so in some nouns making into plural form we are changing their spellings is that we are changing their vowels in this case okay now see here the next rule is many are there if you see there many are there you will find that see g double o s c goose the changing the plural form is g double e s e geese so we are changing their vowels or we can say we can we are changing their spellings especially vowels go to the next is rule number 7 rule number 7 is some words remain the same in the singular form also the same and the plural form also same same spelling is there spellings are there see d e r r d b means what haran haran you know in the jungle in the forest we see haran so that is d d fish fish ship s h w p one ship or more than one ship we are saying ship only okay but sometimes we say here fish there are fishes f r s h e s h okay f r s h then fish f r s h e s fish is we say when we say this fish when you know there are different types of fishes are there different types of colors different types of shapes in that case we can say i saw there fishes fishes means different types of fishes that in that case if you are writing the examination fish fishes or fish fish both are correct okay but i am telling you to make you understand that when we are seeing in the pond or when we go to aquarium you know aquarium there we see different types of fish so there we cannot say fish fish there fish fishes okay sare ke sare pure surmai ke surmai ek sath hai then fish fish okay and if we are saying all the components are there so all one type of fish so fish fish but if there are different types of fish are there there you can say fish fishes go to next that is rule number 8 is some words are always used in the plural some words are there in the singular also we use that and for plural also we use the same what is that news if in the news we say many news dekhi hai ek news many news we are using the plural form only okay news ek news bhi dekhte hain bahut sare newses we never say newses this word is not there only so news news clothes scissors uh, what is that trousers trousers pants trousers pants so some words are always used in the plural form in the plural form that is in the singular also we are using the same word and the two in the plural also we are using the same word a few examples i have given up here and what is the other the rule number nine in some certain or certain nouns are there that do not take the plural form that do not take a plural form see advice We say advice only. For which, see when we say sofa set is there, dining table is there, that dressing table is there, cot is there, cupboard is there in the house. What we say? Furniture. See, this is my furniture. Furniture. See, let me say. Single furniture, one dining table, furniture. Many furniture, furniture. So in certain nouns, do not take the plural form. That is called advice or furniture. now we see the uh, few more exam rules are there 